Hey everyone, I'm Shweta. Welcome back to new session. In last session I have explained about globe, various type of maps and its features. Remember? Let's have a look. A globe is a model of the earth. It is spherical in shape. A map is a drawing of earth on a flat surface such as paper. Various types of maps. Physical map shows mountains, rivers, plateaus, lakes, deserts and landforms. Political map shows boundaries of countries, states and cities. Thematic map shows industries, agriculture, rainfall and soil. Tourist map shows location of important places. You cannot carry globe with you because globe is heavy and not easy to carry. But map can be folded and carried anywhere easily. So students, I am going to show comparison in between globe and map. Comparison between a globe and a map. Globe is a model of the earth which is spherical in shape. Map is a drawing of earth or a part of it on a flat surface such as paper. Globe mainly shows countries, continents and oceans. Map can show information such as forest, agriculture and industries of a particular region in detail. Globe cannot show all the places present on the earth. Map can show the entire world or a part of it. Some globes are heavy and cannot be carried from one place to another. Map can be folded and carried anywhere easily. Let's move further. Next topic is how to read a map. For that, first of all you need to learn about directions. Directions are important as they help us to locate places. You all are aware about four main directions. Can you tell me which are they? Yes, the four main directions are North, East, South, West. They are commonly denoted by their initials N, E, S, W. Let us learn how to find directions. Stand in an open place facing the sun. East is in front of you. West is behind you. Your left arm points to the north. Your right arm points to the south. You can see here an arrow marked with N on the map. The letter N on the map usually seen at the upper right hand corner of the map. It represents the north direction. When it is marked, it is easy to find other directions. Directions help to locate places on map. Ok, if we are facing map north, that is N on the top. East, that is E, the right hand side. If we stand facing the map, south, that is S, at the bottom, opposite to the north. West, that is W, the left hand side, that is opposite to the east.
hope you all are clear with the directions let's move further can you see in this map small pictures letters and lines are you able to see good they all are symbols symbols are small pictures letters or lines that are used to depict roads railways places of interest and many other things on map why we are using symbols we use symbols because map cannot show actual shape and size of tall buildings railway lines or bridges that's why we are using symbols understood do you know why different colors are used on map colors are used to show different things on a map for example blue is used to show water bodies green is used to show fields forests and trees brown is used for mountains and hills here are some symbols used on maps broad gauge meter gauge railway station gauge means thickness size or capacity of something next symbol you can see it is metal roads and unmetal roads next is international state district boundaries next symbol is of river well tank canal and bridge next is temple church and mosque po stands for post office pto stands for post and telegraph office ps stands for police station next symbol is of trees and grass so students i am sure with the help of today's session you will be able to find directions easily now it's time for home fun suppose you are having a friend who lives in pune suppose you are having a friend who lives in pune in which direction this city from where you stay in which direction is this city from where you stay be ready with the answer in next session till then stay safe stay healthy